Oh god, you look very angry. We don't house angry slimes on this slime farm, so goodbye. What's going on everybody? Witherfox here, and I am very excited to get to Slime Rancher 2. Uh, we've waited a very long time for this game, and I've been hearing pretty good things, given that it's only been out for about two days or so. Um, but I'm super excited to check it out. I have already gone ahead and started a save, however, I have only played through the tutorial. So I did want to check this out with you guys here and kind of show you guys what this game has to offer. Uh, so far everything looks just really amazing. So I kind of just wanted to wander around a little bit and show you guys just how awesome this game is. Uh, it seems so far like a, just a very polished version of uh, Slime Rancher. So we have everything is still the same. Uh, we have our hot bar. Uh, we've got our pink slimes around here. We still have our plorts, uh, which is awesome. Uh, we still have our little gates here that we can shoot our slimes into. Now these guys do look a little hungry. At least they seem to want to just hang out there. Uh, but yeah, when slimes eat, they make ports. Head over to the port market, and we can check it out. Uh, but yeah, still WASD, shift is to sprint, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the port market seems a little bit more refined here. Hoping it works in a couple different ways. I did, however, have to turn my graphics down. Not that my computer can't run this very well. I'm sure it can run fine on most of your guys' machines, but... Uh, I noticed when I started recording, my frame rate tanked, so I don't know if that's something that, like, you know, other people are having, or maybe it's just an issue I need to look into, but, yeah, for the most part, that's kind of what's going on here. However, I do want to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, it seems like this is the way out. We need to find some food for our little slimy friends. Um, let's kind of see what this world has to offer. I kind of like our starting area a bit more than the first game. Um, but yeah, so... Story so far... To my understanding... Uh, can we throw chickens in there? I think they ate it. Yep, they... Did they? I have no idea. Oh my gosh! Okay, um, but yeah, so uh, Beatrix is kind of finished with the first game, and she sailed off to this island. So, yeah, um, that was about all there was to it. Um, but so far, it seems like everything is just about normal. These are uh, pink slimes. Seems pretty interesting. Oh, these guys are uh, pogo fruit, huh? Most common fruit found in the range, and some say the most delicious. Some say. I'm sure. Oh my gosh, I could just suck these guys up all day. Oh, well, I do want to check some of these out. These are bunny slimes. Uh, cotton slimes, I guess. So these guys seem very uh, basic from the first game as well, too, if I recall. It's been a while since I played Slime Rancher 1. Um... This game has been on my radar for a little while. Uh, it's not necessarily something that I considered doing for YouTube. Uh, mostly for, you know, your guys' sake. A lot of this game is a bit like the, the Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley types, where uh, just kind of run around and do a bunch of casual stuff. There's not a whole lot going on. Um, we're going to super overfill this, though. And uh, we need to... Okay, so we have enough to buy a corral. Let's do that so that we can uh, throw our bunnies into there. And maybe we'll run back and go get some carrots for them, because I know they eat carrots. And I'm going to deposit this plort here, just for plort's sake. Have a plort. Um, but yeah, still very basic. Lots of, lots of awesome uh, stuff to explore. There was a disclaimer at the beginning of this game, uh, just kind of explaining that... Uh, some features are unfinished, there is some bugs. This is early access, uh, given the game's only been out for about two days or so. Um, so I do expect updates, I'm expecting a lot from the development team. It seems like they've done really good so far. Here's our first hybrid slime. This is a cotton pink Largo. Interesting. You just dropped the port. I'm gonna grab another one of you guys here. I don't want to grab too many, because I remember if we overfill them, they become unhappy. And we don't want them to become un unhappy. 
Uh, I am playing with default settings, so we do have hostile slimes, hostile uh, baddies. Oh, hello. What is this? Seems like that might be a way back up. Oh, you dropped uh, one of those. Nice. Very interesting. Keep exploring here. Nice. There's a lot more uh, slimes around this area. That is a lot of them. Okay. I do want more. I don't. I don't want you. I just want the carrots. The carrots for your brethren that I have kidnapped and I will enslave for money. For my own my own personal gain. But I I love the rainbow look to the grass. It looks awesome. Just everything all around. This game is running very smoothly. It's pretty polished, other than just the one little recording issue that I had. Uh, but I'm I'm hoping that I can either figure that out or get it fixed soon. We'll see. Oh, this is interesting. A uh, cube berries, huh? All right. I'm willing to bet that there are baddies that will come out uh, during the nighttime. Probably want to watch for that. I'm gonna head over here. This seems really interesting. I'm also really curious about the. Uh, oh. You need an upgrade to harvest that. Interesting. What is this? Open the pod. What? Oh, a hydro turret. A defensive cannon that will automatically target tar and blast them with water. So... We'll have to figure out how that's going to work. Uh, but I can't get up there yet. I'm assuming I need a jetpack upgrade like the first game. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm not sure how I'm going to get back here. I hope I can make this. Yep. Okay. Let's, uh, let's run home and deposit some stuff real fast. Alright, so we got one bunny guy right here. And I'm going to give you guys some carrots. I don't know how this guy got out. What are you doing? Oh, that's right. If, if I put too many of them in there, they will start overflowing. Okay. Yeah, you go back in there for now. I'm going to start feeding you guys. Awesome. I'm excited to see the new upgrades, if there are any new upgrades. Uh, those were some of my favorite things uh, about the the first game. Just like the ability to auto-collect the ports, uh, feed the feed the little guys here. Oh, there are so many ports. Ports, ports, ports. I'll figure that out. Cool. So let's deposit this here. The plort market seems to be just about the same too. Uh, so it tends to go up and down depending on what's in high demand and what's not. So lots of good money. And it seems like it is becoming nighttime. So I'm going to see if I can turn in for the night and uh, come back when something's good. So this is a guy. Accessing GG log. Well, here we are again. Sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work this place. I still remember being in awe of the rainbow field. It felt like being a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was because it ended much too soon. Research drone. Very interesting. So I can't do much else with it. Uh, looks like there's another Largo there. Um, but yeah, it is morning again. I did turn the music volume down just a little bit. Uh, maybe it was a little loud for me, but... Uh, yeah. So that's a thing. I think we jumped down here last time? Yeah. Okay. So that just kind of leads there. Looks like I'm just going to uh, kind of explore a little bit and see where this stuff takes me. Hey, we got our very first tabby slimes. It's exciting. What is this? Activate. A refinery. Interesting. Refinery links conveniently transport resources and ports to the refinery. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So we can take this. And it should be in there, and I should be able to access that uh, back at camp. So I'm going to grab a couple of these guys really quick. I want to check out this cave. Seems really interesting. Uh, I do also want to mention, if you guys want to want me to uh, make this a full series, I wouldn't mind playing through all of this and the updates uh, for you guys. 
Um, it just completely depends. Like I said, uh, you know, this game is a lot like uh, Stardew Valley and, and Harvest Moon in a way where it's just kind of running around. So activate this. Oh, this is the map. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so this is where we started. And it seems like there is a lot to explore. Because if this is just our main area that we've been running through, that means we should have another one of these uh, map data things in that area to go find. Very interesting. Oh, what is that? I do not want to try to make that jump. It seems like a terrible idea. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, what is this? Uh, dark and spooky much? Oh, hey, there's another pod. Uh, power chip used to the fabricator to upgrade the Vax power core. Okay, we'll have to figure out uh, what the fabricator is. Interesting, and then this just leads out here, so this is another way to find that. Okay. There's a lot of neat little, like, hidden things around here. So I see that, that map data right there. I want to see if I can get to that. And I definitely made that sound a lot harder than it was. <laughs> looks like we got this area here. Awesome. So there's 14 of them, it looks like. Seems really interesting. I'm going to grab a chicken, because if I remember, the uh, cats actually liked the chickens. I'm going to snag these guys here. There's so many good plorts. I do want to grab these berries, because I think uh, these are what the pink slime's like. Nope, you don't fit in there. A uh, nice toolbar upgrade would be very nice. Can I only hold... is it 20? I think I can only hold a stack of 20. Yep. Okay. Let's head back and let's cash this stuff in. Okay, so we got 20 here that we can just drop right in there. And look at that money go up. Heck yeah. Now we're going to need... okay, you guys, you're kind of... you're kind of getting out of hand here. Uh, can I dispose of you? I'll just... Yep. Yep, I just did that. I most definitely just did that. Ah, hello! Um, crap. Yeah, you don't look very happy either, so I'm just going to, uh, have you commit slip and slide over here. Alright. And you too. Oh god, you look very angry. We don't house angry slimes on this slime farm, so goodbye. And uh, you guys made a mess everywhere. Let's see if I can shoot it from here. Nope. Okay. Dude, bruh. Bruh. How are you guys hungry already? You look so miserable. Nope, I just want the pink ones. And we just need to clean you guys up. Nope, come here. Thank you. And you too. And I'm going to commit a Sietus that way. Alright. So we need a place for our tabby slimes. Now I know that we kind of have a slime problem here. I can barely take care of the ones that I have now. Uh, but tabby slimes. Um, let's get ourselves another corral here. And y'all can have a chicken. Eat it. He ate it. Yep. I'm sure you feel so happy about that. Okay, and then I really need to feed these guys. So you guys be happy about that. And let's, uh, where did that port go? I shot a port up here. I, I think it's just gone. That's fine. We'll put that, oh, what is this? Oh, this is so cool. The fabricator, oh, hey, it's the fabricator. So this is where we get our upgrades from. Now is that saying that it, re oh, it requires me to have certain plorts? I like that actually, where it's not just like money upgrades, but like it challenges you to uh, have different different things. This is the refinery. Uh, how do we? 
Can I... Nope. I, I can't withdraw. Uh... Okay, interesting. Uh, in order to fabricate gadgets, they... Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So you have to shoot stuff into the refinery uh, in order to use them for upgrades. Got it. At least to my understanding. Uh, they cannot be removed. Thanks for telling us that. Uh, you have been randomly selected for not living anymore. I'm very sorry, bunny slimes. Um... Can I get an upgrade for this? Yes, I can. Alright, you guys are not going anywhere. Really? Really? Get back in there. You can starve in there or something. I'll feed you. Just gonna grab all these guys here. I think I... Oh, I don't think I have enough for another upgrade. Let me see if I can drop these off here and get that upgrade. Okay, so apparently... um. These bunny slimes do not believe in captivity at all. They are just uh, hop, skipping, and jumping right out. Is there a lid for this? An air net. Covers the top of a corral. Can take a few hits before needing a recharge, huh? Okay. Seems interesting. Yeah, because we're, we're definitely going to need that. Now, if you guys are unhappy, there is some food. Eat some food. Give me that port. Yep. Give me give me that port. Thank you. And let's just drop this off real quick. We need to go find some food for those bunny slimes. We also need to get some money. Uh like really bad. Okay, I'm hoping 20 carrots is enough. Uh let's see. Yep. And you guys get back in there and eat. Eat your food. I'm just going to collect your poop. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Give me, give me your delicious, delicious poop. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Alright. Oh. Stop eating! I mean, don't stop eating. I like the money, but still. Okay, uh, we need to go turn these plorts in to money. Uh, looks like they went up in value, nice. Make some money off of these. Okay, and then we need to buy the ceiling so that these guys don't keep getting out. Yep. Uh, which is right here, I think. Yep. All right, you guys live in there. And be happy about it. And give me your poop. Thank you. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, this is about all that I have time for today, guys. Um, but I am super excited. Definitely let me know um, anywhere if you guys want me to continue this. Um, but I am very excited this game is out. And I'm excited to check out more about what it's got. So, uh, excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. But yeah, uh, anyway, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.